Hey guys, it's Zeus's Bolts here, and today is a new series I'm going to be starting up today, and this is called Sky Factory 3. So what is Sky Factory 3, you might ask? Sky Factory 3 is a mod pack that involves Skyblock, and as you guys can tell, I'm on top of a tree with only one piece of dirt underneath it. You guys will be able to see it eventually, but basically I have to use this whole tree and one block of dirt, um to just basically expand my whole platform and I will be doing that with the assistance of this mods that are located in this area as you guys can tell tons of pages tons of things to go over and it's pretty interesting so, so to start off um, I have this open computers manual I don't need that right now because I don't really need it right now I mean I don't really have that much in my inventory and right in front of me uh, I also have this environmental tech thing, materials and me, uh, as you guys can tell, just some simple things that we'll eventually get to. Um, the builder's wand, eventually get to, torch, we'll need, <laughs> and then we have the achievement book. So this is really everything that will help me get through um, just the basics really and maybe the future stuff, so uh, we'll get to that stuff later. But yeah, basically, welcome to Sky Factory 3, a mod pack by Bacon Donut. And, you know, if you guys want to check this out, I'll just link you guys down it uh, in the description down below. So, hello and welcome to Sky Factory 3, a Skyblock mod pack. An infinite world of possibility awaits you. You'll be starting in a void world um, with nothing between you and death but a single tree on one piece of dirt, as you guys saw before. But don't panic, the mods in this pack will allow you to get all the resources you need to build yourself an amazing world. Read on for more info about how to play this pack, who put it together, and for a list of goals for you to achieve. How to use this book. Use arrows on the bottom of the pages, obviously, to navigate the book. Um, you'll see challenges separated into ages that represent the general path of progression. Although you do not need to do them in order, simply check the box next to each challenge on completion. Careful though, quests become increasingly difficult as you progress. Also, don't forget to craft yourself an achievement stand to store this book on. So, as you guys just saw or heard, um, this book is just basically as like everything to get myself started. So, it's just really things that will allow me to get things done and hopefully in an orderly time. So, uh, we're starting off at the wood age. So, a new age dawns before you. You don't have anything to work with but this tree, so let's make the most out of it. So, here are the achievements literally as you guys can see and then I can just click on them and check and um, once I completed it so we can twerk a sapling into a tree literally I think I have to twerk a tree or a sapling into a tree you guys will see that eventually and then just a bunch of other stuff but anyways let's get started so I have to destroy this tree I think the whole way that's what I think I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna use uh, slabs to uh, just kinda make sure that I get the most out of this tree anyways I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna save one actually because I need one for the yeah that was, what am I doing I don't know what I'm doing huh. I need one for the crafting table right and I'm probably just gonna put that there and then yes I'm just gonna use these slabs to expand my base for the moment for the time being because, well, I need to catch these saplings that fall down. I gotta make sure that I get these saplings no matter what. And other essential things that could potentially drop that will be nice if it happens, you know? But I guess we'll see. So, anyways, yeah, so this is a pretty interesting th mod pack to do. Um, I've always wanted to do like a skyblock thing. And I never really got to it. I think that should be good because I don't think anything will fall down too far. Like, will bounce off the slabs. Um, I've always wanted to do a skyblock um, playthrough. But I never really got to it because I just was like, holy crap. I don't really want to go through all that time, you know, just to... Uh, build and do this stuff I wanted to have a more exciting experience experience with uh, these mods and uh, I think this is the best way to do it because 
it's definitely a lot better in my opinion but everyone can have a different opinion so everyone has a different opinion so they can you know do whatever they want so um anyways let's uh let's just speed it up here yeah here we go sapling let's place that down so that we ensure that we don't lose one um let's just see if i can get another sapling or any other essential thing so hopefully i'll be able to get this just any extras so you guys might be wondering like what the heck like how the heck am i going to expand this piece of dirt um it, like how am I going to expand the piece of dirt that I just have like the lone single piece of dirt um, The way I do that is actually going to be pretty interesting and it's just because of the mods There's actually a barrel that I can create like just out of wood um, out of these oak wood uh, planks and uh, Essentially I can just make it and all I have to do is I have to place uh, saplings in there and then it can expand into more dirt blocks Um which is pretty nice. Okay, so yeah, we only got one sampling out of that, so I think I just have to twerk on it. Yep, like, look at that. I don't want to get, like, uh, clicky keys or something, whatever it is, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, yeah, so we just twerked on that tree, or on the sampling, and it produced a whole new tree. Isn't that pretty freaking cool? Um, and yeah, I just have to basically repeat the process and uh, continue expanding my base a little bit further um, I don't know how much further I'm going to be able to create it but I'm actually kinda thinking that I'll actually make some more slabs and um, just kinda expand it so I have some more room because it's kinda sucky just staying on this one platform uh, but let's see here let's actually save some up as well I'll just do that much because we got ourselves a crafting table right there let's just place these slabs all the way around kind of expand it you know so anyways what else do I have to do I have to do quite a bit it's going to pretty sucky or what <laughs> it's gonna be pretty sucky actually I have to make this um like I think it's called a crook let me make sure I'm gonna head into this book yeah use a crook on leaves to get saplings and a silkworm so basically what the silkworm do I think I just had to place them back into the tree or something like that I didn't really look at that entirely but I was actually playing through it just a little bit just to see how this whole thing would turn out and uh, what I'd have to do to make it a little bit easier but basically the silkworm I can place into the tree then I have to harvest it and then I can get that back and then I can create like a bed and other essential things uh, just you know to survive <laughs> so uh, yeah anyways let's just create one of these already wooden crook so I can get like saplings out of these I think and also the silkworm and look at that we got ourselves a silkworm already and that's good but we need a sapling if we don't get the sapling we're screwed oh my god um I don't know how much how many saplings are gonna be uh, okay I'll just wait these out Okay, we literally have one leaf remaining. One just block of leaves. 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 Um, I don't know what to do if I run out of this because we're not going to have any saplings, as you guys can tell. Uh, so, I might be screwed here. Really? Okay, that's that's stupid. That's literally stupid. And just for that, I'm, just for the sake, I'm just going to give myself one oak sapling. Because that's kind of crap. Oh, what? Okay, I'm literally having to restart because I could not even give myself an oak sapling from the game. Like, what the crap is that? Like, my last piece of leaves did not give me... A sapling what the f what the hell is that what the hell is that I thought that was at least going to be uh, you know well you know I, I don't even know the word like either way if I didn't no wait no, why, what am I saying I don't know why I just didn't get a sapling like what the hell is that I literally did not receive a sapling for I don't know. I don't know what I, I don't know what the point or like why 
it was not given to me because you know I thought that it's always a given certainty or there will always be a chance that you'll get some sort of sampling right well I guess not and the only sampling I needed was uh, forcing me to uh, just actually you know to restart this whole game cuz holy crap oh my god I can't believe that I literally cannot believe that that's so crap anyways we're restarting right now I, I, I just can't believe I had to restart this whole this whole series like just <laughs> just like in the blink of an eye like I thought I would have died or something like I don't think there's really a penalty for dying but you know after all that after uh, just creating the crook and getting things ready with the silkworm I had to restart immediately jeez that is such a uh, horrible experience but yes we're getting a fresh new start onto the series yes let's go and uh, you know I'm already kinda of screwing it up but I already have two saplings that's more than I had uh, in the last part but hey you know that still works right okay so anyways let's get this little tree out of the way and hopefully one more will could or will potentially drop uh, but there is like I just don't understand why the heck that was um, you know why I'd, oh, holy crap that scared the crap out of me I was like why the heck did I just drop a little bit oh, oh okay we got a third sampling or well a second sampling technically well third because one's already planted okay anyways let's chop this tree down once again let's get ourselves a crook because I need that crook alright tree down time to get building build this crook and uh, should I even expand it I don't know if I should because what if I had, like it follows the same exact path that had happened in, uh, in the last one. Oh no we're good we're good we're good we're getting stuff we're definitely getting stuff that's good that's good. real good okay anyways I'm gonna do the same exact thing I'm going to expand this outer perimeter of my platform real quick I want to uh, just, you know create some more room like I said you know I mean I don't really shouldn't really have to say this again but I do, I do you know I just really do okay anyways good job voila look at that you're looking good like these leaves are really disappearing real quick I don't know why it's doing that I mean I'm, I'm knocking these down obviously but like they are just going really quick silkworm excellent apple no did that apple just fall down what the crap is that I need some food see that's why I kinda wanted to uh, expand it because you know there's always the potential chance of it actually falling off the tree again or no no like it's just like there's a bounce effect once you uh, knock a leaf off like it, it just went off the platform as you guys saw let's twerk on it again Oop. sticky keys yeah oops okay we're good <laughs> so I essentially have to do this uh, basically for quite some time so I don't really know what to say other than this will be going on for quite some time you know uh, I just have to keep redoing this process over and over again um, you know until I have a sufficient enough amount of resources you know to create a bed from the silkworm um, and you know just really also to create some more dirt which I actually can do right now because I think I have enough wood to uh, do so no I can't no I can't um, I can't do that actually <laughs> the reason is is because well I only have no no I can't I can't what am I saying what am I saying I actually just want a sufficient amount of saplings too I don't wanna um, oh look at that I don't wanna you know just I wanna have enough saplings in order to well continue my progress of creating these trees and look at that wooden barrel so um let's see so I mean the process will be sped up if I do so so I can 
put one in per five. Or like if I have a total of five in my inventory, I can put one in. If that's that's probably holy sh. That's a small ass tree. I mean, that's really the small ass tree. Jeez. Um. Anyways. So I just want to make sure that you know I have enough saplings in order to be able to uh, reproduce more trees. So I just want to be, you know, I just want to have a safety uh, safety thing for that. More silkworm. Oh, I have four silkworm. Okay. More silkworm, but I need a sapling. Sapling, thank you. Oh, an apple! Look at that! Excellent. Oh, another sapling. Sweet. So one down, one in. Pretty cool. So, guys, this is a Sky Factory 3 mod pack. What the heck happened to my movement? It's because there's something in my hand, or what is going on? What? What? I don't know why that happens, but my... There's like no movement with my hand, but anyways. That shouldn't really be much of a bother. But anyways, guys, okay. To continue and wrap this up, guys. There's going to be more videos for sure. Uh, in the future. Um, I'm stockpiling up on videos over break. Anyways, guys, this is Sky Factory 3. Welcome to to the series anyways this is the first episode I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode we're gonna continue and build this thing like crazy I'm probably gonna do some off-screen work with building and twerking on these trees oh 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 yeah 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 oh 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 I'm gonna twerk on that tree real hard you'd think the sapling would actually get destroyed from twerking so hard on it <laughs> anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode this is Zeus Boat that was kind of weird. I said that pretty weirdly. Okay, anyways. Uh, this is Zeus's Bolt. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So, yes. Goodbye. <laughs>